Good day and welcome to our very short instruction on how to get around attaching files in Outlook that are uh, linked to SharePoint uh, back in Office 365. It's a re recent change from uh, the fall of, 26, uh, fall of 2015 uh, that when you uh, attach a file that's stored in one uh, drive that the files uh, get referenced in SharePoint and uh, push through to um, uh, through through Outlook to your um, recipients. The the problem with this is uh, if the recipient blocks attachments or sorry blocks um, uh, links to external attachments, uh, they will fail. If the person at the other end doesn't have a OneDrive uh, a Microsoft account, uh, it will fail. Um, well, it won't fail, but it just won't work for them, and it's quite frustrating. So I'll show you how to get around it. There's two solutions. The first, so here's a document that I created, cleverly called test, test, test. It's stored in SharePoint. Uh, well, it's stored in, stored in Office 365 uh, OneDrive. Uh, now I'm going to go to my Outlook, and I'm going to create a new message. Okay, so I'm going to bring up this uh, new email message. And um, one of the nice features that came out with uh, 2016 uh, and the changes on the back end is this ability to click on your recent items uh, so you don't have to go hunting for them, which is quite nice. You can see here there's a little cloud icon, and uh, you can also see it's out at this uh, SharePoint site that I don't want people going to for a variety of reasons. So two ways to get around that. One is I can click on this, and I can click the drop down, and I can select attach as a copy. And you'll notice right now that there's the cloud icon. When I change it to attach as copy, that will go away. It'll download the file. And there it is. That's one way to go. Another way to go. Um, let's just let's just remove this to click the attach uh, file uh, icon. And let me uh, let me drag this up so you can see the bottom of it. And instead of selecting something from the predetermined list, just simply click browse this PC, and that will bring up and show you your local copy of OneDrive, and then you'll be on your way. So um, perhaps that. Uh, let me go to uh, public and I'll save that uh, well one of these test files again. And there we go, and you can see there's no cloud icon, it's not being stored out on the web, it's actually just being stored, um, it's being attached right in Outlook rather than linked in Outlook. Another way to go uh, is to add the old attach button. Uh, so instead of using this button, you use the old attach button, so I'll show you that. Uh, what you do is you right click anywhere in the background here, there's a number of ways, but this is the fastest way. So right click anywhere in the background here and select customize the ribbon. Uh, in the ribbon, what you want to do is uh, you need to create a new tab. You can't add buttons to uh, the uh, the existing tabs. So just create a new tab here, uh, and um, you can really you can call it whatever you want. Uh, I'm just going to leave it as new tab. Uh, then I'm going to click on attach file, and uh, I'm just going to drag it over and drop it here. And uh, there it is. Now when I click OK, I will have this cleverly named new tab, and I'll have the old attach file. Uh, go to my OneDrive. Uh, now again, this is a, my local copy of OneDrive. This is actually stored locally on my computer, but I can rip through here and pull up whatever documents I wish. Um, uh, let's, uh, what can I show you here that's public? Let's, um, well, let's go to public, there we go. Here's a bunch of test garbage, so nothing too confidential in here. And I could select that file and I could, I could insert it, and there we go. Um, now, um, uh, just to show you where those are in case this is confusing for you, this OneDrive is not the OneDrive on the cloud on SharePoint on one uh, on Microsoft OneDrive. Uh, what this is is your local copy of that data. So you could get to it by going to this PC, um, C, users, whatever your username is, and then in here you'll see uh, OneDrive right there. And that's the same thing. See? That's it. If you have any questions, please get a hold of us at uh, urtech.ca, and you'll see the graphic in a second with the uh, with the website name. Thank you. Bye bye.